Well, everyone, welcome back to my channel this time. Evidently, I wasn't recording, so now we're actually starting the video. <laughs> anyway, I'm playing a game called At the Gates. Uh, we show the tile screen, maybe the thumbnail, I guess. Uh, <laughs> which you would have already seen by this point. I'm an amazing YouTuber. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to play At the Gates, which is like uh, it's a 4X strategy, turn based strategy game, uh, so kind of like Civilization. Uh, it was made by um, a guy who I think was a, a dev for Civilization V, so that's cool. And he made his own little little game. Um, it's about so basically, you play as a tribe of barbarians around the fall the time of the fall of Rome, and it's a little more difficult than Civilization. You're kind of trying to survive. You're not really trying to do much other than that. Although you do win the game by either just defeating Rome or taking it over from within, um, which is really interesting. Um, I, I've played this game a little bit, uh, and I really like it, um, but I have not beaten it, because I'm a bleb. <clears throat> anyway, today we're playing as the Franks, and as I said earlier, before I was recording, the Franks have a perk. Let's see, let me see my tribes. So I got this guy, he is aggressive, okay, and he's intimidating, so he's... We probably want to make him a warrior eventually, some kind of warrior um, role. Next clan is eager, so ooh, they start with three levels of honor, and they're actually faster to train, which is amazing. Uh, and but they're demanding, so if they have a desire, they really have it. <clears throat> this guy's a hoarder, so we add some food and treasure to our stockpile, and he's obedient. Uh, got a little dog, doggo there. Um, so, no extra, there's a couple things, no extra training time, experience, gained is halved, um, it's kind of good and bad. Anyway, uh, let me go back to my clans. As you can see, they're all happy, and it's because I'm the Franks, and one of their bonuses is all of their people have a mood modifier, they get, um, one plus from, from being Franks. Um, so that's our faction traits, we have a bunch of, and they're... You'll notice there's a bunch of tooltips, and this game loves its tool tips. Holy crap, just look at that. <laughs> just infinite tooltips. Uh, that's one of the, the I'll just one of the things that they uh, they really pride themselves here at Conifer Games. <clears throat> anyway, one of the other faction traits of the Franks is that we are constantly at war with anyone who isn't Nicene Christian. So all those p dirty pagans and <laughs> Aryans are, we're constantly at war with them. Um, this might be a good time to talk about Nicene and Aryan Christianity and the differences, um, but maybe later. Alright, anyway, so our clan is idle, we have three, or sorry, we, clans are idle, we have three clans in our tribe, and we have to go about making them do things. <laughs> so this guy's already in honor. So that's good. These guys have no uh, specialization, as you can see. So I have a bunch of wood in in my area. I have forest. These aren't actually wood. They're just brush, which is stupid. Um, but then they have some wheat as well, a field of wheat. We have to make sure our food stockpile is uh, keeps up. Uh, we have actually 50 turns left of food. So uh, after 50 turns. Uh, our tribes will starve, and uh, I've lost that way. That's a, it's a bad way to lose. I mean, it's a way to lose. Not that winning is ever losing is ever good. Anyway, we should probably go get some more food. So we need a person who can become. I want to make this guy a hunter. Um, so we have hunter, reaper, gatherer, digger, wood collector, and explorer. And you can see there are different disciplines. So there's, let me, not studying profession. Okay, so there's honor, agriculture, livestock, metalworking, crafting, and discovery. So yeah, those are the six, the six specializations, or what are they? They're called profession, not professions, disciplines, um, and then. Your clans can become professions. I think we're gonna make this guy a reaper. Whatever can, whatever can collect. I think it's a reaper. Yeah. So we're gonna make him a reaper, and he 
he trains really fast. I'm pretty sure with will be Actually, just no extra train time for switching disciplines. I don't know. It only takes one turn to make him a reaper, though, so... Hmm. Anyway, we're going to do that, and we're going to study something. Well, we already have a guy with honor. Oh, when you study, when you study a discipline for the first time, you actually get to give two points of that discipline to a tribe. Um, so we don't... We want to... Let's see, we probably want to explore stuff, but we could get wood. We'll need wood choppers. So crafting would be nice, but we have to think about what our clans can do. This guy, his attack power is actually going to be increased. Um, and he's intimidating. Hmm, actually, that he would be really good to be in the clan, because then no one else can commit crimes, and he never engages in feuds. So he might be good to actually have inside of our tent. Right now, these uh, tribes are actually inside of our tribe area here. Their tent. They're like they're settled here. Uh, when we make them something, they'll go out and do stuff. So we need to study a profession. I'm only collecting wood right now, um, and we can already make. <clears throat> this is why I'm a pleb, because I don't know what to do on the first turn. Uh, he's already got three re re Reaper Gatherer. Let's do... Mm, no, because he's going to be gone. Let's do Discovery. Alright, and then we finish our turn. So the turn takes a second to calculate the turn and roll over to the next one. But that is alright. It's a fun little game, and I enjoy it. Alright, so we got our Reaper here, we got some fame, whatever. We're gonna send him here. Pathfinding is weird, I guess it takes a little... It takes uh, some extra move points to enter this forest. Um, so she, she, they had to go around. Alright, we got another clan because of our fame. So every... We have so much fame that clans join us because we're so awesome. Alright, he's a Marshman, so he can move through Marsh pretty fast. Um, and then he's violent, so his power is increased. So we're getting a lot of people who would be good at fighting. I don't think I need to make them all fighting just yet. Okay, so now I can make somebody, somebody, uh, discovery. Since he's a marshman, he can move through marshes fast. We'll make him discovery because then what we'll do is we'll make him an explorer. Okay, now we can study new professions. So now that we've studied the first re ugh, the first tier of discovery, we can discover the next tier, or research things in the next tier. So there are five things in the next tier. Guides, lore keepers, bards, traders, and surveyors. Surveyors are good later when we want to build roads. Uh, bards increase our fame to increase the number of clans that we have. Lore keepers give us knowledge so we can research faster. Traders are good when you're when you want to settle down somewhere, because right now we're actually nomadic. We can move we can move our clans around, um, so traders can build trade depots and bring us some more treasure. And guides are I never built them, so they increase the production of a couple things. Okay, I think we'll study honor right now, and we'll maybe we can't build archers yet. So we research them, and we'll need tools. And as you can see, I have only food in my stockpile, and treasure in my stockpile. So it's going to be really, really hard to uh, build archers without weapons. But as you see, we do have a good number of deposits around us. That One of those, as you see, these uh, are actually unknown. It's unidentified material. We have to send a digger or a surveyor there to discover what it is. And then... Uh, then uh, gather it. Okay, so we're kind of on an isthmus here. We need to explore. Let me go this way. All right, so there's a neutral barbarian camp over there. We want to probably avoid that, but there is somebody else's land over here. Uh, it doesn't say who, but whatever. We got a new clan. They're filthy, uh, so they might engage in feuds because everybody else hates them, and they're calm though. But they'll ne so they'll never engage in brawls. But wait, but they will engage in feuds. Oh no, but they can never engage in feuds because they're calm. <laughs> Get wrecked, other trait. Um, and their morale isn't actually increased, so they're actually even happier. 
Okay, that's cool. Alright, we're gonna make his honor even more honorable. And we're gonna we can make him a hunter, but we it actually looks like that we don't have very many we don't have livestock or any kind of animals around. So honor might not be the best thing yet. It might be better to do some diggers or wood makers. Mm, I'd like this guy to be here, so this guy needs to be honored. So this person, we don't really need wood yet, so let's make a digger. Um, should we digger two turns? So we'll do. Wait. Now this person is here on the space with the wheat so we can forage. And as you can see now my stockpile is going up because I'm collecting enough food for all my clans. The more clans we get, the harder it will be to keep them fed, so we have to keep getting more and more food, so we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> anyway, now might be a good time to talk about the difference between Nicene and Aryan Christianity. Because this game does take place during the later period of the fall of Rome. So you have three different religions, they affect the way you talk to other people. As you can see, I just got the notification prompt that the Western Roman Empire wants to talk to you. Oh, that's who's red. Um, the Western Roman Empire is always, their territory is always red. He really looks like a kid to me, but I feel like he's not. Anyway, he's a Nicene Christian, so I'm not at war with him, which is amazing. Um, blah blah blah, he wants a fair mind relationship with me. Um, do we have enough food? I don't want to give him 10 of my food, so we'll give him 50 of my treasure to be happy. So his relationship with me... <laughs> this, is, this is very confusing. There's relationship level and there's influence, but then there's also more like global reputation. And if I'm like mean to people, I get more global reputation, so other people are like, whoa, watch out, he's a badass. And then I also have leverage. So there's, I have no idea how these all work together, but at some point if you get enough of one of these, you can make an alliance, and if you make an alliance with a group, you can play them in another playthrough. Uh, except for the Romans, because you can never play the Romans, because you can never make alliances with them, because they're Romans. Anyway, he's a nice scene Christian, and so am I, so we're happy. Um, we're not like those Huns that are pagan. Anyway, <clears throat> in the 3rd century, uh, a man named Arius decided that he wanted to... <laughs> he wanted to say that Jesus was not of the same substance as God the Father, because, you know, in Christianity we have this idea that that God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are all one being. And Arius wanted to say that, no, well, Christ had to be different because he was begotten, therefore he had to be not begotten at a certain point in time, therefore he had to be created, therefore a different substance, a uh, different kind of thing than God the Father was. And it caused this whole rift in Christianity because I can't make this person know right, I have to cancel this, make her metalworking, then come here and make her a digger. So it caused this whole rift in Christianity because of the nature of Christ, which a good Christian will realize that what people believe about Christ is what uh, what they really believe, or whether they're really Christian. If you want to weed out the hairs or the weed out the sheep and the goats, which you're not supposed to do, you should make a video on that. <clears throat> Holy crap! There's a bunch of neutral people. All right. Anyway, um, long story short, there was a there was a there was a church council, if you consider the Catholic Church the church. Uh, they decided that, thanks to Athanasius, they decided... I think it was Athanasius? They decided God, God the Son and God the Father are the same being, and Arius needs to be exiled. So he was exiled to Albania. Um, but unfortunately, well, or for, depending on if you're Arian or not, <clears throat> lots of the barbarians took up Ar Arian Christianity, and mm, the Romans tended to be Nicene. Although, I'm the Franks, and I start Nicene, which is historically, I guess, correct. Um, 
if you want my opinion, um, obviously the Trinity are all the same because they're one. Christ tells us that he and the Father are one, so there's that. Um, let's get crafted. <clears throat> Uh, so they are the same, so Arius is kind of wrong, or is wrong, um, uh, but I don't know if the Nicene were, are exactly right either, I mean I wouldn't consider the Catholic Church to be right, but that's Bill's two cents, as I play a video game and talk about religion. Alright, we have a digger now, he's gonna go to one of these things and figure out what it is. Our explorer is going to continue to explore, and we have a whole bunch of barbarians and stuff. Oh, we can make somebody crafting. Um, I believe I'll make this person crafting, and now I can make her a wood collector. Oh, and now we can study a new profession. I have no idea what to... Actually, no, I do know what to... No, I already have hunters. Um, we could study weaponsmiths to start making weapons, but we need iron, and we'd have to, hopefully one of those... Deposits is iron. Mm, but we could also use bars. What am I going to make? Oh, what am I going to make this guy? Mm, I think I can... Maybe he should be a bard. So I don't know, I think I might like making the this content. Um, I'll probably continue making these and then uh, play this awesome little game about Rome and barbarians. Actually, it's an interesting... Oh, it's a point in history I like, particularly the whole fall of Rome kind of idea. It's just showing you how barbarians, different cultures, try to live their lives. As you see, we're trying to just survive. And the Romans being the establishment, or not establishment. Now I'm getting, now I'm getting very analogous to our day and age. Uh, but the Romans, the current society, kind of fell apart under their own depravity. Oh man, this guy's got five. Holy crap, he's got five levels in discovery already. But he's afraid of fire, so he doesn't want to be a metal worker or in the metalworking discipline. Uh, okay, well that's cool. I've got a caravan, um, it has like nothing, and I don't have anything to sell it, and I don't have any treasure because I gave it to Rome. Okay, so this guy is Discovery. What Discovery? I only have Explorers in Discovery right now. I'm mean, researching Bards, which this guy's going to be, because he can keep people in check in the clans, and you're mostly going to have, you're going to have a bunch of people in one space when they're all in the clan. So it's good to have somebody who can keep them in check and make them sure they don't commit crimes. This guy has a bunch of honor. Have we found food yet or animals yet? We haven't. I don't want to make a second explorer, so we'll make this guy a hunter for now. Let's see where... Oh, there's no... There. Wow, I'm... This is yeah. This definitely doesn't connect to anything. So I am on a little like a little peninsula <laughs> with Rome blocking the only exit. All right. Well, I don't want to say we're screwed, um, but it's looking bad. The good thing is that we can move our tents or yeah our clan, and Rome isn't necessarily aggressive to us. Um, not yet, anyway. Usually you get attacked more by bandits and other fa other barbarians more than you do by the Romans. Um, so we'll try to see if we can slip through here. For right now, we're good where we are, though. Alright, I have a hunter. I'm gonna actually see if I can get through Rome and if we can find some neutral ground to hunt in. This guy, this explorer, has pretty much explored. Might be something here, but... These guys won't attack us, but this guy would, maybe. We'll have to see. This guy is going to forage for wood, so we can start getting some wood, and we can build some structures. Alright, we're done here. This guy can be trained in an explorer. Don't want to. We're just going to produce fame and culture. We're going to make our clan idle for a second. 
Hmm, what's that barbarian doing? He moved a little bit. Game tends to freeze up uh, in between turns, which isn't amazing, but it is what it is. Oh, so he was a being attacked, or he was attacking something without moving. Got another clan. They're demanding, so that is bad. And then they have a smithing lineage, so they uh, started metalworking, which is awesome. And they have they gave us two tools. Um, we can't do anything with two tools. You need like at least five to do anything. <clears throat> Um, but we can trade plans as bards, so there's that. Alright, I want to move... Why can't I move to this space? See, this is the... I'm still not amazing... Like, I still don't understand the rules of combat as much. I don't want that... Wait, no. I want that to be more... Okay, tiled... Okay, whatever. Um... So I guess I can't move here because of the zone of control of, of this person. Not that I'm fighting him, but... Looks like we're done going that way. At any rate. We can make another digger. Oh, actually we can make a bard. Uh, it takes three turns. Probably a... Thinking now that a bard might not be a, the best idea. But we're going to do it because this guy, if this guy's going to sit here on his butt, he might as well be doing something for us. <clears throat> now we need to research... Okay. I have clans. I need something in Discovery that isn't an explorer, so that's what we should look for. Well, I guess that's a bard, but I just did that. Um... Oh, yeah, this guy doesn't have to stay put. He could go on his... Oh, he could do a galley, except we need bo boards and cloth, and that's a little more than we have right now. Um, tinkers would be nice. Lore keepers would probably be best. Probably be best to make him a lore keeper. What would be the other options? Still do agriculture and livestock. Oh, we could start making... What is this person? She needs to start making... We should make... We should make a blacksmith first. We get a blacksmith and start making tools. If one of these deposits is iron, we can start making tools, and then we open up a lot of different options for ourselves, which is really good. Yeah, I should. Uh, I don't know if there's any build orders for at the gates, but I should look some up. Look, <laughs> look up some, right? Do you put your first six villagers on sheep, and then the next three go to wood? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm a pleb, like I said. <clears throat> anyway, I think this is a good point to stop. Um, we'll call it quits for right now, and maybe pick it up if this, I don't know, is something I want to keep doing. As always, uh, I enjoy making content, and, you know, it's just a bonus if other people enjoy me talk about, <laughs> talk about it and talk about a game I'm playing. Uh, Alright, I will see you guys on the flip side.